And we are going to see some trouble spots today. You can see these two areas in orange. That does include Minneapolis, Green Bay, and Chicago, where we could see some stronger storms later on today. Winds over 65 miles per hour, damaging hail an inch or larger. Isolated tornadoes are possible. Now, tomorrow, it's like those two areas merge and expand a bit. So we're looking for severe storms tomorrow from Montana, stretching all the way into the uh, interior mid-Atlantic. And it's all this frontal system. Again, out ahead of it, it's warm, it's humid. You have a stationary front that's going to the trigger the could be severe and then tomorrow we are looking for some of these severe storms to impact areas like Ohio through Pennsylvania and uh, most likely reaching the East Coast later at night like after nine o'clock or so so today the areas where we'll see troubles at the airports would be Minneapolis and Chicago especially if some of those uh, pop-up thunderstorms develop right over those cities in the southeast we'll also have your run-of-the-mill uh, summertime thunderstorms that could create some isolated delays then tomorrow while I do think we will get those storms on the East Coast they should happen later, like after dark. So that should help uh, at least ease some of the troubles in the Northeast. It's not like it's going to happen right during the height of travel, I'd say, in Boston, New York, Philly, and Washington, although Detroit, even back into Chicago, we could see some delays at the airports tomorrow. Chanel. All right.